you doing? <laughs> like many moms, Laura Leap worries about how chemicals and cans and plastics could affect her three-year-old son, Gavin. She takes steps to avoid one in particular, bisphenol A, also known as BPA. We've tried to make sure that the container this is in um, is BPA free. Though banned from baby bottles and sippy cups, BPA is found in some plastic food containers and in the lining of many canned foods. The chemical can seep into food and has been linked to cardiovascular problems, diabetes and obesity. Now, researchers at Columbia University's Center for Children's Environmental Health say exposure to BPA may also increase a child's risk of asthma. Exposure to BPA early in childhood at ages 3 and 5 and 7 uh, was associated with increased odds of wheeze and asthma at school age between 5 and 12. Researchers measured the BPA levels of more than 500 pregnant women and then followed their kids. By age 12, a third had asthma. There are ways to reduce exposure to BPA. Experts say choose fresh fruits or vegetables whenever possible and use glass containers, especially in the microwave. Dr. Kathleen Donahue also says to avoid plastic containers with the recycling numbers three or seven. It's not a guarantee, but it may have BPA. Laura says she tries her best to avoid plastics. I switched from using a, uh, a water bottle um, that was disposable to one that was BPA free or one that was um, made of stainless steel. She also tries to buy fresh and cook from scratch whenever she can. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, New York. Now we've got to let it ride.